Uh, I'll be able to get picked up if you can. Oh, nice one, huge. GG. Well done, dude. Welcome to the video, ladies and gentlemen. Apex Legends, eh? It's become a bit of a phenomenon in the Battle Royale scene. Unexpected even by its developers' respawn of previous Titanfall fame? I enjoyed Titanfall 2. Multiplayer was great. Fighting out in mechs, especially in multiplayer, is always fun. And of course, Apex Legends shares the same universe as Titanfall, minus the mechs and using the Battle Royale game mode. A genre which was, of course, made even more popular and mainstream by PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds, one of my all-time favorite Battle Royale games. And Apex, I've got to say, if you don't know already, I'm a little bit addicted to. Every stream lately has been Apex, Apex, Apex. It's fast-paced and the skill ceiling is quite high. If you can mix those two together, moving fast, as well as having perfect aim or near too perfect, you're pretty much going to become a champion, which is Apex Legends' version of a chicken dinner. Winning the game is the name of the game. There are loot crates you can open in the form of little robots. There is a store with microtransactions. And most recently, there is a season pass. Season one, for the most part, looks kind of underwhelming. Of course, the Apex Legends community has been very vocal on their thoughts towards season one and how underwhelming it is. Skins are very bland. There's only three character skins you unlock at the very start of the season pass unlock. The rest of them are very plain and browny weapon skins. You do get some bots to open, some extra loot crates and coin, so you could potentially buy Season 2 for free, just like the coins you earn from Season 1. The Season Pass doesn't really get good up until about the 80s in level, where you start to get a epic skin for the Prowler, and then you get a 100% guaranteed legendary bot to open, and the Evolving Havoc skin, which by the way is one of my favourite weapons, and that skin does look good, so I do want to make sure I get to level 100. Up until then though, it's pretty mediocre Season Pass really. But that is not all. You have a new legend introduced in Season 1, Octane. And oh my god, is he amazing. He's by far my new favourite. Bangalore previously was my main. Octane is now easily my go-to character. His Q ability is an injection that he rams into his chest to give himself an adrenaline rush and get a speed boost to get out of danger or into danger even quicker. And his ult ability is a jump pad. I wasn't too impressed with this upon first seeing it, but I have learnt how to use the character since, and there's nothing quite like using that jump pad to jump into the fray and save your squad. As the other players around you have no idea, and you seemingly have appeared from nowhere, I'm surprised I haven't had reports or something. Maybe I have. We will never know. Footage you're watching in the background is, of course, my time with Octane so far. I'm by no means a professional, but I'm feeling like I'm getting good. Of course, whichever legend you do choose as your main, you do want to use their abilities to their maximum potential to get those juicy wins. Communication is key as with any other Battle Royale game, and Apex introduced the amazing point-and-click tagging system, which has recently been borrowed by Fortnite, allowing you to identify points of interest, enemies, and loot that you require, all without uttering a single word from your sexy lips. Going back to my thoughts on Season 1 though, I'm pretty sure, as we've said, Respawn as well as the community didn't expect Apex to explode like it did, so season one is kind of like a amalgamation of what they could do in the time given to kind of keep interest in Apex itself. And season two, I hope, and I'm, I'm, I'm guessing and theorizing is going to be much better talking to some of the community myself and, and lovers of the game. We all kind of had the same idea that this was like, oh my God, we've just made something that's, that's massive. We need to get some content out there to the people. Wasn't that great a content and I'm sure they'll do a better job next time. So, well, they got it, really, because they kind of got crapped on for this one. But uh, we'll see what comes in the future. So with all that being said, of course, I do cover Battle Royale on my channel, as well as survival games, Daisy being the main one, and some other games on the side. Retro gaming will be coming soon as well. And do you play Apex Legends? What are your thoughts on Season 1? Are you looking forward to what they do with Season 2? Let's talk about this in the comment section below. I'm going to leave you with some of my gameplay as Octane, and I'll see you peeps next time. Well, we've got another team on us, I think. Oh, 
Oh shit, one more in Careful down the hill, down the hill again. Oh, up the hill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to heal. I'm gonna see how much I can do. Nice one, Ruby. She would not be with you. What? Nice one, guys. Yo, thank you for the continued support, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, tick on my bell to get notified. Follow me on Twitter, join my Discord. All links are in the description below.